missing link relating earlier in the dream to the FBI. Now I'm relating it to missing railings at schools. So when I was in fourth grade, one at night, there was something going on at school. We went there at night, and I went to play on this little bar that looked like this that we would swing around on, and it was missing. And then the next day it was back, so somebody had removed it. Um, that was a weird, disconcerting thing as a child. That this, you know, bar that was always there all of a sudden was missing. Um, and then I saw a similar thing missing from my daughter's school. Um, so the surveillance in the schools being linked to the FBI. Okay, stuff here about this, you know, coffee shop, restaurant kind of thing. I tend to not like these because this is human trafficking right here. This is about, you know, taking these surveillance materials, editing them, I guess, making up stories, and trafficking them. And it absolutely makes me sick to my stomach to think that the FBI was involved in, is involved in this. It really makes me sick. It makes me sick that it's going on at all, but that they're involved in it. it makes me really it's sick and sad. So all you have to do is go back to this time period. It says here. I wrote 2686. I don't think I've ever checked up on that. I'm going to go back to that time period. Okay, so, um, image of Willie, a photo with his niece, Crystal, from 1997. I see a vision that looks like an A, but also a power pole. So I write, I'm trying to write mind control, but it looks like mind control. So, I think that this is, I feel like this is the beginning of what, you know, is it, is this like a coronavirus image? It could be, and it's an interesting thought because there's an A right in front of it for architect. There are some dreams here linking Angela Ben Estrada's daughter with my cousin Joanna. They both live in Minneapolis. Um, evil guy with lighter in right hand connected with the dream of Mike's Berkeley relatives. It's an 80s dream. Then Roxy showing me cat trees become geometric shapes, cones in a Google map. So this is before I realized that Google Maps had all this stuff in Street View to see. Um, vision of a pentagon, pentagram in layers. And then maybe a number eight in the pentagram. So it's layers of a pentagram superimposed over each other. So again, potential later linked to the a visual coronavirus kind of thing. dangers to Thompson's and Carlson's especially girls then Roxy comes over and sits on my um, journal and then on my toolbox the beating supplies so I understand that the beatings also linked with assassinations assassinations are so such a big deal to this group that um, <laughs> a lot of just normal symbols are linked to assassinations specifically including beads and beating in fact, artwork in general. Flakes like a carving, beading. I'm not sure what painting is, means. Painting is coded, but I have a feeling painting might be portrayal of somebody. Possibly a false portrayal. The clear-cut shapes. Trees or stumps sh turning into cone shapes. So this was before I understood that cones were symbolic of getting a cornucopia or getting rewards for killing somebody. 
So the idea of death as a bounty. Dealing with dreams being erased. They have been affecting my breathing, I say, and my heart, and messing with an implant in my back. So this is January 2019, right? Today is August 9th, 2020. Image of me making a terrarium with little trees, bush, pull it out. It's a swampy place with smile. Stem to the left. So this is a little, little, tiny little demo I'd seen left on the sidewalk. This is echoing. And the demo that I had seen on the sidewalk included a syringe cap, rocks, powder, and a stem. Also the sound of water trickling behind all of this. And then I guess I get the words, Berkeley Genocide. 